Dear students, our today's topic is role of information technology in environment and human health. Health depends on the environment in which one is born and brought up. Environment can be both a cause as well as cure of many diseases. Regarding health and disease, environment may be divided into two headings, external and internal environment. Earth's surface and the environment surrounding is important to human health. The nature of soil, water, air, temperature, wind, cloud, rainfall, humidity, etc. determines man's health and welfare. Pollution of the environment results from a wide range of human activities, uncontrolled disposal of human excreta and refuge, industrial discharges, smoke from coal or oil burning, fumes from motor vehicles, misuses or overuse of insecticides and fertilizers. Population explosion results in malnutrition, overconsumption of food causes obesity, diabetes and dental decay. Congestion of stees leads primarily to air and water pollution that are starting points for many diseases. Due to congestion, the quality of air and water is greatly affected. Information technology is one of the fastest growing recent technology. Various softwares have been developed for environment and healthcare which are user friendly and help in better understanding of the phenomena. A lot of techniques are used under information technology for development and application of computational tools to acquire, store, analyze and visualize satellite data which is used for observation and protection of environment. Information and communication technology. This has been referred to as the key instrument in healthcare, delivery and public health internationally. When designed and implemented effectively, ICT can improve access for geographically isolated communities, provide support for healthcare workers. IT in human healthcare involves the use of digitized products, online databases and network infrastructures as the means of communication between hospitals, physicians and patients. IT will play a critical role in decisions regarding the future of personal health management and healthcare reform. In the environment, information technology applies for quality monitoring and management, pollution sources, supervision and management, environmental statistics, environmental assessment, ecosystem management, nuclear safety and management, environmental information release and so forth. Auto monitoring is widely used in environment quality monitoring and pollution source monitoring. It uses many information technologies such as online data collection equipment, data delivering technologies and data processing technologies. Environment and human health. The natural environment contributes significantly to people's health through the quality of air we breathe, the food we eat and the water we drink. On the other hand, it offers health enhancing, economic and recreational opportunities. On the other hand, it is threatened by activities such as transport, industrial processes and waste management practices. Environmental health is defined by the World Health Organization as those aspects of the human health and disease that are determined by factors in the environment. Environmental health includes both the direct pathological effects of chemicals, radiation and some biological agents and the effects on health and well-being of the broad physical, psychological, social and cultural environment which includes housing, urban development, land use and transport. Natural environments provide numerous challenges to human health and well-being and many of these challenges are continuing to grow and develop both by ways that we can reasonably forecast and ways that we cannot. Human health information technology has tremendous application in the field of environmental education and health as in any other field like education. Development of internet geographical information system has generated a wealth of information on various aspects of environment and health. Now coming to environmental threats to human health. People experience the environment in which they live as a combination of physical, chemical, biological, social, cultural and economic conditions that differ according to the local geography, infrastructure, season time of day and many other things. The different environmental health threats can be divided into 
traditional hazards which are associated with lack of development and the modern hazards which are associated with unsuitable development. The changing pattern of environmental health hazards from traditional to modern with time has been called the risk transition. This transition in risks occurs before the epidemiologic transition shift in the relative importance of traditional and modern diseases that accompanies development. Modern hazards are related to rapid development that lacks health and environment safeguards and to unsustainable consumption of natural resources. These hazards include water pollution, air pollution, chemical and radiation hazards, infectious disease hazards, deforestation and other major ecological change at local and regional level. Health Environment and Sustainable Development In 1992, the world leaders adopted the principles of the Rio Declaration and Agenda 21. Now what's Agenda 21? Agenda 21 is a non-binding action plan with regard to sustainable development. Rio Declaration stated, human beings are at a center of concerns for sustainable development. They are entitled to a healthy and productive life in harmony with nature. Many countries have formulated national plans for sustainable development that give increased weight to health and environmental concerns. Health is now a concern for almost every sector of society, not just the health sector. Thus, it's understood that appropriate developments must occur in agriculture, industry and energy if sustainable health improvements are to be attained. That said, the health sector had an important role as advocate and guide for healthy development. Information technology in health sector. IT has the potential to improve the quality, safety and efficiency of healthcare by providing new ways for providers and their patients to readily access health information. However, relatively few healthcare providers have fully adopted IT. That's information technology. Low diffusion is partly due to the complexity of IT investment, which goes beyond acquiring technology to changing work processes and cultures and ensuring that physicians, nurses and other staff uses it. Role of information technology in environment and human health. Technology has played a key role in the development of human society. Development of sophisticated instruments like computers, satellites, etc. have resulted in total revolution in all spheres of life. Health information technology. In general, IT allows healthcare providers to collect, store, retrieve and transfer information. However, more specific discussion of IT in healthcare is challenging due to the lack of volume of applications and a rapid pace of change in technology. IT can be used simply as a passive tool to store patient information or can include multiple decision support functions like individualized patient reminders. IT in human healthcare provides an interactive network where medical facilities, physicians and providers can communicate, collaborate and ultimately increase the quality of healthcare worldwide. Now coming to remote sensing and GIS. Remote sensing and GIS is effective tool in environment management. Now environmental changes can be assessed through satellites by remote sensing. The occurrence of natural calamities like droughts, floods can be predicted well in advance. Such assessments help the environmentalists and planners to take ameliorative measure to minimize the effects of these extreme natural events. The Ministry of Environment and Forests, Government of India has created an information system called Environmental Information System, ENVIS, providing a network database in environmental issues like pollution control, renewable energy, desertification, biodiversity and many other things. A geographic information system, what's it? It's a system designed to capture, store, manipulate, analyze, manage and present all types of geographical data. Modern GIS technologies use digital information for which various digitized data creation methods are used. The most common method of data creation is digitization, where a hard copy map 
or survey plan is transferred into a digital medium through the use of a CAD program and georeferencing capabilities. Now, application areas of GIS. What are the applicabilities? GIS are now used extensively in garment, business and research for a wide range of applications including environmental resources analysis, land use planning, locational analysis, tax appraisal, real estate analysis and archaeological analysis. One of the first major areas of application was in natural resource management including management of wildlife habitat, flood plains, aquifers, recreation resources, wetlands, agricultural lands, forests, environmental health agencies. At all, all levels of government and the partners that support them, universities, non-profit organizations, IT vendors and consultants are increasingly using geographic information system that's GIS technology to assess and protect the health of the populations they serve, understand the impacts of the environment on human health and improve environmental health services delivery. What WHO says about the GIS? They say that it's suitable for analyzing epidemiological data that would be more difficult to discover in tabular format. It allows policymakers to visualize problems in relation to health services and provides the natural environmentalists an ideal platform for the convergence of disease specific information. Now, information technology in hospitals. Relatively, little is known about the level of diffusion of information technology in hospitals and strategies hospitals take when making IT investment decisions. The existing information about IT diffusion com comes from voluntary surveys. Given the evolving state of the technology, varying estimates of IT diffusion exist. Information technology in physicians' practices. Like hospitals, physicians are more likely to use IT for administrative functions such as billing, claim submissions and scheduling than for clinical functions such as electronic health records, clinical decision support, access to formularies or other references. 77% of physicians accessed the internet, 53% obtained information on treatment, 32% obtained information on formularies and 11% used IT to write prescriptions. This was a study according to Reed in 2004. Informatics in enhancing public health surveillance. Public health informatics is defined as a systematic application of information and computer science and technology to public health practice, research and learning. It's an interdisciplinary profession that applies mathematics, engineering, information science and related social sciences, example decision analysis to important public health problems and processes. Public health informatics is a subdomain of the larger field known as biomedical or health informatics. Numerous opportunities are available to facilitate public health informatics impact on public health surveillance. An important opportunity is the increasing adoption of EHRs and health information exchange systems. Electronic health records. Electronic health records and health information exchange systems collect information about individual patients from different information systems, example registration, clinical record, laboratory and through information exchange from across different provider technological advances. Electronic real-time data regarding the environment, for example, water quality data from supervisory control and remote sensing systems, continuous collection and transmission combined with the GPS and GIS revolutions also facilitate the overlay of environmental information. Now mobile applications, that is the new tech phase of healthcare. Mobiles and handheld devices and the wide-ranging applications that it offers for the healthcare professionals exemplify the latest dimension that the use of information technology in healthcare is taking. Today, for a healthcare professional, be it a doctor or a laboratory technician, 
there are wide varieties of specific function based applications that are enjoying increasing popularity precise and error free maneuverability that can be accessed by a healthcare professional just with the fingertips the most important aspects of the use of mobile applications in healthcare is improved access to healthcare by the patients better qualitative improvement through real time information sharing and better engagement of both healthcare professionals and patients current status of health information technology the degree of it use varies by healthcare setting pharmacies are generally advanced users while physician offices or nursing homes are further behind the kind of technology used also varies by setting for example in home health the use of technology that allows patients to monitor their own vital signs from their home and communicate results to the agency that could increase the ability to address a problem before a patient requires acute care it has also a significant impact on consumers numerous websites have made health information more available to patients thereby strengthening their role in care decisions it also helps consumers choose providers by allowing insurers including medicare to post information on providers including comparative quality information delivering quality healthcare requires providers and patients to integrate complex information from many different sources thus increasing the ability of physicians nurses clinical technicians and others to readily access and use the right information about their patients should improve care the ability for patients to obtain information to better manage their condition and to communicate with the health system could also improve the efficiency and quality of care this potential to improve care makes broader diffusion of it desirableness now coming to the case study environmental information system anvis and health science the ministry of environment and forests has created an information system called environmental information system that's anvis with its headquarters in delhi it functions in 25 different centers all over the country the anvis centers work for generating a network of database in areas like pollution control clean technologies remote sensing coastal ecology biodiversity western ghats media related to environment renewable energy desertification mangroves wildlife himalayan ecology mining etc etc the national institute of occupational health provides computerized information on occupational health that is the health aspects of people working in various hazardous and non hazardous industries safety measures satellite imageries provide us actual information about various physical and biological resources and also to some extent about their state of degradation in a digital form through remote sensing we are able to gather digital information on environmental aspects like water logging desertification deforestation urban sprawl river and canal network mineral and energy reserves and so on Information technology in human healthcare involves the widespread use of digitized products, online databases and network infrastructures as the means of communication between hospitals, physician providers, insurers, patients and suppliers. Always evolving and advancing health IT will play a critical role in decisions regarding the future of personal health management and healthcare reform.